Hello and welcome to the CirclePix Complete Image-Based Marketing Solution Back Office Training. In this part, we will show you how to stitch images together and prepare you to upload them to your virtual tour. This is something that is scary for most people, but with the software we use and the CirclePix tools, you can have virtual images for your property in minutes. We will also discuss a few photography tips that will help your images look more professional and save you a lot of time during the image stitching process. Creating a professional virtual image starts with shooting photos that will align and stitch together without errors. The best way to do this is to use a tripod. If you don't have a tripod, you can still achieve great results with careful handheld shots. If you are new to panorama shooting, then I would suggest that you shoot all of your initial panoramas with the camera in its standard position. I will refer to the standard positioning as landscape orientation, and you can tell it is landscape because the picture will be wider than it is tall. The reason for shooting with a landscape orientation is that it will enable you to have more overlap on each of the images, and this will make stitching them together easier. It is also very important to keep the camera at the same level in all of your shots so that they will all line up better. Shooting with the camera upright so that the picture's height is greater than its width is considered shooting in portrait mode. This is how all of our professional photographers shoot virtual images, and I would recommend using a tripod for this type of shooting. The software that I would recommend to use is Microsoft Ice, and it's completely free. We have a link to download it in your CirclePix back office. Before you start stitching images, it is always helpful to organize your images into folders. I would recommend a folder for each of the virtual images that you want to stitch and another folder for your regular still images. I have my images already arranged, so let's start making panorama images. My favorite feature of ICE is the ability to select your images and immediately load them into ICE by right-clicking and selecting Stitch Images. If you have a fast computer, you can do this several times and be stitching multiple panoramas at once. It will automatically adjust for my lens and exposure settings. Depending on your computer's processor speed, it may take a few minutes for it to stitch. If your camera is capable of shooting at more than 3 megapixels, I would recommend that you turn down the resolution settings to 1000 to 1500 pixels high for your virtual images. This will generally be your low or medium setting and will save you a lot of time processing the stitched image. If you want to print your image, then you may want to use a higher quality setting. I used a low resolution image for this virtual and as you can see it didn't take long to stitch. Before I save my finished image I am going to adjust a few settings. The first setting I always like to click is the crop or automatic crop. This will get rid of any curvy lines around the top, bottom and sides. The default camera motion setting will work just fine for all of your virtual images. In the export settings area, this is where you can adjust the output file type, quality, and resolution. The default settings will give you a JPEG at 80% quality and at a scale of 50% of the actual image size. For the size of my original images, the default settings will provide me with a perfectly sized image to upload to my virtual tour. Right here below the scale adjustment, you can see the actual resolution and megapixels of the output image. At the bottom of the window, you can see information that is more specific on your stitched panorama. This tells me that all 16 of 16 images stitched correctly and that my image spans a full 360 degrees horizontally. Now that I have my settings all set, I need to save the image. To do this, I can just click on the export command and it will allow me to save my completed virtual image. It will process the image again for a few seconds in order to save it. Once your image saves, you are ready to upload it to your virtual tour in the CirclePix back office. With ICE, you can stitch full 360 degree panoramas or you can just stitch a couple images to make a nice wide angle shot. Stitching your own images allows you to take full advantage of the CirclePix virtual tour. 
Thank you for joining us. We hope that you enjoyed this brief image stitching tutorial. Please check out our collection of tutorials on the CirclePix image-based marketing tools.